everyone, welcome to Daria Crochet Life. My name is Daria. Today I'm going to show you how to make really cool new summer hat. This time I'm going to show you how to crochet bucket hat. Uh, you can search my uh, YouTube channel. I have uh, really good tutorials on how to make uh, two different types of summer hats. Uh, and I will leave a playlist uh, link uh, in description box down below. Please check it out. For today's hat, we'll need um, raffia. This time I'm going to use um, this raffia. Uh, the name of the brand is Fibra Natura. Uh, and I guess it's Turkish, Turkish yarn. Uh, it says that it's 100% uh, viscose. Uh, but that's, that's just, just regular raffia. Uh, yeah, this is my color that I'm going to use today. Uh, 11603 and um, they recommend to use a 5 millimeter hook but I'm gonna use 4 millimeter hook because 5 millimeter is um, too too much <laughs> for this hat uh, and in one ball it is 40 grams and 90 meters or so 99 yards uh, for our hat uh, for the size uh, for, uh, 58 uh, centimeters in circumference, like like here, it would be for the head of 58 circumference, uh, you will need two of these balls and a little bit more. So if you want to make exactly same hat using exactly same um, raffia, please buy three of these balls. For the hat that we are going to make today, you will need a little bit more than two balls of this uh, raffia. So let me show you. Let me show you a little bit closer the the raffia that I'm going to use today. Uh, it's uh, very very nice. And stable and high qualified uh, raffia to be honest I was working with it a little bit uh, let me show you the uh, ribbon itself it's pretty wide yeah so I like to work with this raffia uh, so as I told you you need to use four millimeter hook I'm gonna use this one or G6 uh, in US uh, you will need one marker, so make sure that your marker uh, that you that you're using the marker that you can easily open and close, like this one. It's uh, it couldn't be a circle; it should be something that you pin. You can use regular pin if you want, but uh, this marker is just easy to work with. And you will need, uh, of course, scissors. So that's it. We are not gonna. Uh, we're gonna we are not gonna need any other materials for our hat uh, first thing that you need to make is uh, a circle it is our base the beginning the top of the hat uh, and I will start with a slip knot so make a slip knot make sure that your knot is very tight so you want think that it is a stitch yeah then insert your hook into the loop tighten it make it smaller and i'm gonna make two chains one and two and in the first row i will insert my hook uh, right into the first chain so i'm gonna skip this one and i'll insert my hook here and i'll make six single crochet and all of them will go into the same space i'm inserting my hook into the first chain and make my first single crochet then going into the same space you see my single crochet coming out from this hole and this time i'm going into the same space making the second single crochet and i will in total i'll need to make six single crochet so that was two this is three four five 
five and six. After that, I'm taking my marker and you need to install marker on the last stitch, the one that you just done, that you just did here like this. Marker will always show you the last stitch in a round because we are going to work in spiral method. So that means we, we won't make anything um, like at the end or at the beginning of um, every next row. Uh, we'll just work like spiral and we need marker to show us the last stitch in a row. Uh, in order to understand where to insert your hook next, usually I count backwards. So I've done six uh, single crochets. So that means I'm counting the one with the marker that's six, five, three, two, one, six, five. Oh, sorry, six, five, four, three, two, and this is one. Yeah, so this space, this one, yeah, so this space would be the first one. And on the second row, I'm gonna make six increases. One increase means making two single crochet into the same space. So I make in my first space, I make one single crochet and then into the same space I make, I'm going with my hook and I'm making another single crochet. So that was uh, one increase. You see from one space, I have two stitches instead of one, I have two. And the same way I'm working right to my marker. And if you are doing everything correct, so you should end up with 12 stitches. Please, after each row, count how many stitches you have. Because if you make mistake in one row, uh, the next row you just simply couldn't, couldn't make. And, and you end up with a different shape. Because this time we need good circle okay i come to the marker taking away marker and this is the space where i had marker i'm making two single crochet in this space and then put the marker install the marker on the last stitch so don't forget to install the marker all the time at the end of the row and marker will show you the last stitch uh, in a row. In the round number three, we will work like that. In the first stitch, I want you to make increase. So two single crochet in the same space. Next space, make just regular one single crochet. And you repeat these one increase, one single crochet all around. Um, until you reach the marker and on the marker space you are making just one single crochet don't forget to take away marker and put make a single crochet over there and then uh, install the marker back on the last stitch in a round because if you forget to do that you'll um, you'll uh, lose the beginning of the round and to be honest you have to start from the beginning so that's why be very careful and if you make mistake like you you finish the uh the round you counted your stitches and you realize that it's not right amount of stitches so it's very easy to um to fix your mistake by remaking just one round look i'll show you right now so I come to the last stitch and I know that the last stitch would be, so this one was increased. So the next with the marker would be just regular single crochet. And after this round, you're supposed to have 18 stitches. So then you need to count how many stitches do you have right now? Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 
stitch with the marker. So I've done everything right, but let's imagine that I made a mistake. So, and you realize that you made a mistake, you just pull the working yarn and you undo everything right until the marker and you restart this uh, round again. This time try to follow the pattern, which is one increase, one single crochet. And at the end of this round, you're supposed to have 18 stitches. Yeah, now everything is correct. So that's why I'm taking away marker and making my last stitch into this space and installing the marker back into the last um, single crochet. Okay, let's uh, make round number four. Uh, this time you start with one single crochet into the next space and then into the next you are making increase. So two single crochet into the same space and one single crochet into the next. So that would be your repetitive part. One single crochet, one increase, one single crochet. You repeat this until the end of this round, until you reach the marker. Basically, it's uh, five more times you work like that. So in total, we'll have six uh, repeats. And it is two separate single crochet between every increase. Maybe that will help you. And at the end of this round, you're supposed to have 24 stitches. I have 24 stitches and I'm ready to start my round number five. I begin with one increase. And then I'm making three single crochet. Each one will go into its own space. That was one, two, and three. And you repeat this one increase three single crochet to the end of the round and at the end of this round you're supposed to have 30 stitches i have 30 stitches right now and i'm ready to start my sixth round so this time i begin with two single crochet each one go into its own space one and two then I make one increase and then two single crochet, each one go into its own space. And you need to repeat this two single crochet, one increase, two single crochet, five more times to the end of the round. And at the end of this round, you're supposed to have 36 stitches. I have 36 stitches right now. Uh, next would be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh round. On the seventh round, I make one increase. And then five single crochet. Each one will go into its own space. One increase, one, two, three, four, five. And then I repeat these until I reach the marker uh, four, five more times. And at the end of this round, I supposed to have uh, 42 stitches. I have 42 stitches right now. Next round, uh, number eight. Uh, I begin with three single crochet. Each one will go into its own space. Then I make one increase and then three single crochet. Each one will go into its own space. One, two, and three. And I repeat these three single crochet, one increase, three single crochet, uh, five more times. And at the end of this round, I supposed to have 48 stitches. I have 48 stitches right now. Uh, next round number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In the round number nine, I need to make one increase. 
and then seven um, single crochet each one go into its own space and repeat this to the end of the round and at the end of this round you're supposed to have uh, 54 stitches yeah please count that Uh, in the 10th round, I make four single crochet. Each one go into its own space. One, two, three, and four. Then I make one increase. And then another four single crochet. Each one go into its own space. Two three and four and I repeat these four single crochet one increase four single crochet to the end of this round and at the end of this round uh, you're supposed to have 60 stitches uh, in the row 11 uh, I make one increase one and two into the same space and then I need to make um, nine single crochet and each one will go into its own space and i repeat this to the end of the round and at the end of this round i supposed to have 66 stitches so there was one two three four five etc up till i come i have nine and then i'll make another increase Okay, in the row number 12, uh, I begin with five single crochet, each one go into its own space. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I make one increase. And another five single crochet, each one go into its own space and i repeat this to the end of the round and at the end of this round i supposed to have 72 stitches uh, if you want to make a hat to a smaller size than my size uh, i repeat i'm my head circumference is 58 uh, centimeters so if you want to make uh, your head a little bit smaller so that would be your last increase round and after that please um like play a little bit uh, forward and uh, um, so you, you should skip the round number 13 and join me on the round number 14 uh, but if you want to make the same size as me so you will need to make this round and end up with 72 stitches and one more increase round I will explain this later at the last increase row uh, we are going to make this way so you are making one increase And then 11 single crochet each one go into its own space and you repeat this to the end of the round and at the end of this round you're supposed to have 78 stitches so make sure to count your stitches and make sure that you have 78 at the end of this round okay my friends I finished 13 rows and I have 78 uh, single crochet around uh, and the diameter of um, my circle is, uh, let me show you how I measure it. So first you need to put it on the table, make sure that it's all flat and you measure it from one side to another right through the middle, through the center. And mine is um, like 17, yeah, 17 centimeters a little bit less than 17 centimeters um, in the next round we stop increasing so uh, by the way next 16 rounds we work without any increases but the first round of uh, this no increase uh, section you should work like that so you see our single crochet has on top of every single crochet it is a braid or a chain and it has back loop and front loop and if you look at the back of every single crochet 
Uh, let me take these uh, needles. So I will show you what I want you to do. Uh, and if we look at the back of every single crochet, we'll see uh, this little bump, this loop. So right now I want you to work through the back loop plus this little bump at the, yeah, this one, at the um, uh, back side of the single crochet. And you need to make just regular regular single crochets but the way where you insert your hook is very important so first through the back and another one is this one this loop okay and then I make just regular regular single crochet make sure everything is okay and then I work around like that this row can be slow especially if you don't have a pointy hook you see my hook is very round over here so that's why it's hard for me to uh, insert it but you know what it's still doable so maybe i'll spend more time on this task but i will do that and you see if you work like that okay let me make one more stitch and i'll show what what I mean X. we'll have a nice line you see this line and after that all of our stitches will change the direction and so this is flat and after the first row uh, it will go it will start going down like that you will see that after this this round Uh, and this is what you're supposed to have after this um, round, uh, fifth, uh, 14th round. You see right now it looks like a small basket. <laughs> uh, you need to work without any increases and in doing a regular single crochet, like just classic. You see going through the two loops making regular single crochet so you need to work like that uh, 15 more rounds so in total uh, without increases it should be 16 rounds and these uh, 16 rounds in total uh, will be around nine centimeters and you measure from uh, this point like like this Yeah, and you need to measure it from this point like this so work like that um, 15 more rounds and we'll, I'll see you after that okay I finished uh, my 16 um, rows uh, in total I have 29 rounds right now so if you count from the very first one this is the very first one if, if you count all of your rounds you're supposed to have uh, 20 rounds right now uh, and after this we are ready to start making a brim so we won't do anything uh, special for the brim we'll just start our increase uh, round and uh, round 30 that would be our first increase round and I started like that I make six single crochet each one will go into its own space Then I make one increase and I finish the round uh, and I finish this repetitive part with six uh, single crochet, each one going to its own space. Uh, and I need to repeat this to the end of the round. And at the end of this round, I supposed to have 84 uh, single crochet. Uh, round 31 uh, we are making increases again and we begin with one increase 
and then we need to make 13 uh, single crochet each one will go into its own space and you repeat this to the end of the round one increase 13 single crochet and at the end of this round you're supposed to have uh, 90 stitches Uh, next two rounds, uh, 32 and 33, we work without any changes, without any increases. And you're supposed to have um, 90 stitches in every of this round. So two more rounds, you work without any changes. Round 34, we uh, increase. First, I want you to make seven single crochet. Each one will go into its own space. That's three, four, five, six, and seven. Then make one increase and another seven single crochet. Each one will go into its own space and repeat this to the end of the round. So repeat seven single crochet, one increase, seven single crochet. Uh, and at the end of this round, you're supposed to have 96 stitches. Row 35, uh, we begin with one increase. And then you need to make uh, 15 single crochet. Each one will go into its own space. You repeat this to the end of this round. And at the end of this round, you're supposed to have 102 stitches. Next two rounds, 36 and 37, you're supposed to work without any changes, uh, without any increases, and you're supposed to have 102 stitches in every of, of these rounds. Uh, round 38, we begin with 8 single crochet. Each one will go into its own space. 1, 2, uh, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, and eight. Then make one increase, two stitches into the same space, and then another eight single crochet. And repeat this eight single crochet, one increase, eight single crochet to the end of the round. And at the end of this round, please count, you're supposed to have 108 stitches. <clears throat> round 39 we begin with one increase and then make uh, 17 single crochet each one will go into its own space repeat this to the end of the round and at the end of the round you're supposed to have 114 stitches And last two rounds, uh, round 40 and 41, uh, we, are, we don't make any increases. We are working one stitch in every uh, next space. And in every round, you're supposed to have 114 uh, single crochet. Okay, my friends, I've done 41 rounds and this is what I have so far. It's hard to see. Uh, I'm taking away my marker. I don't need it anymore. Uh, in the next space, I need to make a slip stitch. So I insert my hook into the next space, grab the working yarn and pull it through the space. And then the same loop through the uh, existing loop on my hook. And then I tighten everything nicely. And that's it. I can cut my raffia. Don't need long tail. And now I can pull this uh, short uh, this short tail through the loop and tighten everything. And that's it. Uh, it's easy to weave uh, these tails with um, a smaller hook size. I'm going to use this uh, 1.9 millimeter, but you know you can use any hook that has that is smaller than that our like original hook and that has pointy, uh, like that is pointy here. So, and it's very, very easy to uh, weave raffia. I just find a loop that is close to my tail, grab the working yarn and pull it through this loop like this. 
and then find another loop and pull it through so and i'll work like that maybe for five centimeters something like that not to the end of this tail because it, it would be too far maybe even like not five three centimeters so like this much yeah this much then i need to weave all the ends um like all these ends as well and after that uh i will steam my hat because you see right now it's kind of not nice so i will uh use my iron and um very gentle very very careful uh put in the iron like not don't push it uh, don't push it too much uh gently steam um steam the uh, the hat it will look much much better i want to make um a braid with raffia to you know to uh to add some little piece on my hat so i've cut it three pieces of of the raffia uh it's about uh, 110 centimeters long so i i will uh, make a simple knot at the end like this tighten that and then yeah, nice knot and then um just as you make regular braid I don't know how to explain that, but <laughs> I'm sure you all know how to make r r usual braid. But make sure that uh, when you uh, when you wrap with one uh, end, make sure that the braid is not twisted, that everything is uh, nicely and without any tangles, any knots, any ugly ugly spots. So some, something like that. And at the end of this um, braid, I'll make the same knot. Then I'll trim uh, these tails and add it to my hat. Just tie it around the hat. And that would be it. That would be the end of this uh, tutorial. Okay, I finished my braid. And now I'm going to make another a knot here at the end like this and then I need to take two knots and maybe cut trim it like that something like this okay my friends I weaved on the ends I finished the braid and I steamed my hat uh, and I wanted to show you um, this product that I was using uh, to uh, when I was steaming it's um, a sp uh, speed starch uh, so it's very 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 good and uh, nice product to make it to make your raffia hats uh, more stable more stiff I will leave all links uh, to everything that I was using in this um, in today's video in description box down below so check it out if you have any questions on how to make this raffia hat or how to take care of it please leave me a comment uh, please like and share this video if it was useful for you and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll receive notifications about all of my new videos if you're gonna make raffia hat using my tutorial and post it on your instagram please give me a credit please use this hashtag so that would be easy for me to find your work thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye mm -hmm.